Well, since breaking ground at the end of August, construction crews have resumed work on the new Buganagashig School building. And as Mel Meyer reports from Bina, the work is progressing on track as expected. Superintendent Mary Trapp recalls telling staff and students early last year how they had received over $9 million from the Department of the Interior for a brand new building. It was amazing to see the response, the cheers, tears came. Two months ago, they hit the first major milestone, clearing away trees to make room for the new building. It was difficult at first for the elders and school community to go outside and see the trees missing. They looked up to see a group of eagles soaring overhead. It was telling us we're moving in the right direction. As school finished for the year, students looked on the as the old building's building doors building closed for one last time as it came down. The high school students said, I have so many memories from the high school. He said, what's going to happen to them? They'll bring these with them as 7th through 12th grade students enter the new facility. The building will house five new classrooms, a cafeteria, gym, library, special education center, and culture wing. We're hoping that the new school will bring new opportunities to our students. Their graduating class size has greatly decreased over recent years. They worry that the old school may have been part of that. We're going to begin to graduate, hopefully, 25 to 30 students every year. All the more reason they're thankful for everyone who helped with the project. Their hard work is so, so appreciated because it's going to bring so many wonderful things to this reservation and community. Construction is expected to be completed by the time students arrive on September 5th. In Bina, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. Staff members are planning to have a new school dedication ceremony sometime in November. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.